everyone. Welcome to my channel. Thanks for joining me today. Today we're going to be making the best Chicago style pizza. I hope you enjoy this recipe as much as I do. Now let's get started because I'm hungry. So as you can see, I laid out some of the ingredients for the crust. You're also going to need two bowls, a frying pan, and a cast iron skillet. In this case, you can either use a 10 inch cast iron skillet or a 12 inch. I'm using a 12 inch skillet. So the ingredients you will need are a fourth teaspoon of sugar, a half a cup of warm water, a half a teaspoon of salt, two and a half teaspoons of active dry yeast, one and a half cups of unbleached all-purpose flour, a half a cup of yellow cornmeal, and lastly, a tablespoon of olive oil. Now you're going to combine the sugar, yeast, and water in a large bowl. So after you stir, 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 you're going to allow the mixture to stand until it develops a foamy surface. So now that your mixture is ready, you're going to go ahead and add your half a cup of yellow cornmeal, one and a half cups of all-purpose flour, a half a teaspoon of salt, and a tablespoon of olive oil. And you're going to stir this until the dough starts to form. This may take a little elbow grease and it's going to take a few minutes. Now that your dough is coming together, this is where you're going to transfer it onto a lightly floured surface, or you can use a silpat mat like I did. And then you're going to have to knead the dough until smooth and elastic. That's going to take about five minutes. So as the dough starts to form, you can shape it into a ball and then you're going to place it into an oiled bowl. You're going to want to cover it, such as I did with like a kitchen towel, and then put it aside in a warm location. This will sit for about an hour. Now that our dough is resting, we're going to go ahead and move on and make the topping for the pizza. You're going to need a half a pound of sweet or hot Italian sausage, and if it's in the link, you don't want to remove it from the casing, a 16 ounce can of chopped tomatoes drained, two cups of shredded mozzarella cheese. If you'd like more, you're welcome to use more. One teaspoon of dried oregano, a half a teaspoon of salt, one teaspoon of garlic and fresh ground pepper. Now you're going to place the sausage in your large skillet on medium heat, breaking it up into small lumps this will take a few minutes. And of course, if you wanted to use a different topping, feel free to use that instead, such as vegetables or pepperoni. Just a side note, if you use vegetables, you'd wanna saute them in two tablespoons of olive oil prior to adding the additional ingredients. You will let that cook for approximately 15 minutes You will now add your tomato, oregano, salt, garlic, and pepper.
So once the mixture comes to a simmer, you want to strain the mixture. I lined a strainer with paper towels. This is a pretty quick process. Once it's strained, you put it back into the pan. Now that our topping is complete, we're going to go back and work on our pizza crust. So you want to preheat your oven to 500 degrees. Then you're going to go grab your cast iron skillet and grease it. You can use olive oil, canola oil, or any other oil you'd like. I usually wipe down the excess oil with a paper towel. Now go ahead and grab your dough, knead it briefly, and then you're going to start pressing the dough into the pan, being sure to bring it up to sides just a little bit. Once you have the dough lining the skillet to your liking, you're going to cover it for 15 minutes. After your dough has rested, we're ready to go. You're going to first grab a little olive oil and brush the top edges of the pizza. Then you're gonna go ahead and grab your mozzarella cheese and sprinkle that on the bottom as this is going to be your first layer. Then next, you're gonna put your sausage mixture or whatever mixture you decided to make and evenly coat the pan. Then you will cover that mixture with the rest of the cheese. Now you're ready to bake this deliciousness. Go ahead and pop the pizza in the oven at 500 degrees for 12 minutes. After the 12 minutes, you're going to reduce the heat to 400 degrees and bake until the crust is golden. I found it takes about 20 to 25 minutes. I hope you enjoy making this pizza as much as I do. Until next time, bon appetit!